Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be telling a couple, is this like off balanced? A couple different serving horror stories that I have because quite frankly, you guys know how it is being a server. These stories are easy to come by and they come by often. So yeah, if you guys wanna hear some funny stories that have been happening lately, especially during the pandemic, then just keep watching. My state that I live in recently, just like a couple weeks ago, they opened up dine-in again at 25%. And once that happened, we are so busy, busier than pre-COVID, like so insanely busy. And obviously, if you guys work in a restaurant, especially where I work, it's a really nice restaurant. We, you, a restaurant, you always prioritize dine-in customers, not takeout customers. I feel like it's self-explanatory, but if for some reason it's not to you, let me just tell you, if you, as a customer, went out to eat at a restaurant, would you want them to be prioritizing takeout orders even though you guys are sitting in? That's that's just not how like it works. You will always prioritize the dine-in customers. So our wait times for takeout have gotten like longer. And like on Friday night, we're full in the restaurant and we have like 15 takeout orders. At that point, yeah, it is, it's like 45 minutes to an hour wait and people don't like that. So the other night, this guy comes in and he's like, yeah, I'm here to pick up my online order for Bob. That was not his name. Love all the Bobs out there. Picking up an order for Bob and I'm like, hmm. And I was like, oh shoot. He only put, got that order 20 minutes ago. It's still gonna be another like 45 minutes. And I, I showed him, I flipped the screen and I was like, just so you see, like I did mark it on the tablet for you. I told you it'd be ready around like 7.15. And he instantly scoffs and he's like, are you kidding me? An hour for sushi? And I'm like, yeah, I'm sorry. Like we are very busy. And he's like, there's just no way. Like there's no way. I've never heard of sushi taking an hour. And I'm like, yeah, I'm sorry. Like, we just, we are really busy. Like, I'm so sorry. And like, the restaurant was full, like I said. And he's like, well, you have to figure out a way to make it faster because I know all these people, points to all the customers, aren't waiting an hour for takeout or aren't waiting an hour for their food. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. Like, they're not waiting an hour. That's because they're dining. We prioritize dining. Like I just told you guys earlier, right? Like we will prioritize dine-in customers. He didn't like that. Um, he's like, let me make a phone call and see if they want to wait. So obviously his party that he was getting the food for, they didn't want to wait for the food. So he comes in and he's like, yeah, we just can't wait that long. I'm like, okay, sir, no problem. Like I'll cancel it for you. You'll get a full refund. Should be updated by tomorrow for you. And I'm thinking he's going to say like, okay, thank you. And he just keeps going. Yeah, just like another 40 minutes, really? Yeah, I just like don't see why it's gonna take that long. And I'm like, I know, I'm so sorry, sir. And he's like, well, I can't wait that long. So again, I'm like, okay, no problem. I will cancel it for you and you'll get a full refund. And then he's like, well, what are you gonna do to fix this? I'm like, what planet are we on? I can't do anything to fix it. I can't go and make your food faster. I'm a server and I think a lot of things, a lot of times, what some customers don't understand is they'll be like, oh, well, can't you just make mine before everyone else's? Well, here's the thing. The six other takeout orders that are before you, I've told them certain times to come on the phone when it'll be ready. And if we just stop working on all those and just work on yours simply because you can't wait like everyone else, then we're gonna be behind on the six other orders that are in front of you. And now when those six customers get here, we're gonna be super behind and have customers waiting. It just, it doesn't work like that. The world doesn't just snap, snap for you and do whatever you want. Like it just, it just doesn't. Eventually he just let me cancel it and he left and it was fine. Um, here's the thing, I understand. I can definitely empathize with customers. Um, if you hear the takeout's gonna be an hour and you don't wanna wait that long, for me, I can understand hearing that the wait's an hour and being like, oh, I don't wanna wait that long, thank you. I just can't imagine being so rude and being so entitled about it and arguing with the service worker about why it shouldn't take that long. Like, it's just the way it works, buddy. So the next story comes where it's mask. 
You guys know as servers out there, getting people to wear their masks is hard. Regardless of what you think, like I, don't, I hate having to get into this, but at the restaurant where I work and the city that I work in, they want you to wear a mask. So when we tell you to wear a mask, it's not anything other than us just following the rules and asking that you follow them as well. Um, and honestly, as a server, it gets so exhausting having to ask people to put on a mask that now at this point in the pandemic, I don't even ask. Like some people will come in without a mask and be honest, I don't even ask them because stuff like this, the story I'm about to tell you just gets traumatizing to deal with. So this was when we were first able to open back up for dine-in, not this time around, the time before. Then we got shut down again, but that time, this guy comes in and um, at that time we were requiring masks, which we still do, but we were also doing temperature checks. And everyone that came to dine in, we would just ask to take their temperature and then they could go to their table and eat business as usual. And there's this one guy who walks in and he walks straight up to like our bar, which our bar wasn't open and it's still not open. And he walks up to the bar and he doesn't have a mask on. And then he's like looking at, like grabbing like a menu over by the bar. And I wasn't gonna say anything, but the bar workers that were there were like looking at me like, please, please tell him to go back to like by the register and put on a mask. Cause people are scared. Like people, you know, they don't wanna get sick. So the guy comes over and I'm like, shit. I'm the only server over here. Like they're gonna make me ask him. So I'm like, hi sir, if you could just please stand over there and look at the menu and then just throw on a mask for me. Like that would be great. Thank you so much. And I'll be right over there to help you with your order. And he's, and I think from his point of view, he's looking at all the people eating at the tables and seeing that they're not wearing masks, which is obvious that they're not wearing masks because they are eating. And he's like, uh, no, no, I'm not gonna put on a mask. Um, I'm just trying to order takeout. And I'm like, yeah, sir, I understand. If you could just put the mask on and wait for me over there, I'll be more than happy to take your takeout order. And he literally goes, all these other people aren't wearing masks. And I'm like, yeah, that's um, that's because they're at their tables. And he's like, okay, so let me sit at this table. And then walks up to a random table and sits at the table and goes, now take my order still not wearing a mask. At that point, it's just respect. I feel like when I ask customers to wear their mask, I am respectful. You know, I'm delicate about the way that I say it. Like, I, I get scared. I'm genuinely like raises my blood pressure having to ask you to put your mask on. So for you to then go, no, I'll sit here, take my order. Um, I'm not gonna listen to what you have to say. No, I won't do that. So I said, I'm not gonna take your order then. And I walked away and continued to serve tables, help other tables, take other tables orders. And he gets so pissed, he walks up to the register and says, oh, I forgot to mention, when he sat at the table and said, take my order, I said, okay, then I'm gonna have to take your temperature. And then you're gonna put the mask, or I didn't even say put the mask back on. I said, you're just, I'm gonna have to take your temperature then. He's like, did all these people have their temperature take, taken? And I said, yes. And he said, no, that's ridiculous. I'm not doing that. Then I walked away and said, okay, I'm not gonna help you. Should have mentioned that. So then he goes up to the register and my manager, I was working with my manager. He starts like complaining to my manager and I was like scared cause he's like a 50 year old man. So pissed at me. And I'm up at the register too now, just trying to put in the order from the table I just took. And he's like talking to my manager, but looking directly at me, even though I'm not looking at him, but I can like see him looking at me. And he's like, yeah, like you guys just really need to learn how to talk to customers. And you need to learn that the customer is always right. And he's like, right? And I'm like, literally not looking at him. I'm like, I know you're not having a conversation with me. But anyways, he's like, right? And then I looked at him, I was like, mm-hmm. And then he's like, so maybe you could apologize to me because I would have put on a mask. And I'm like thinking in my head, I'm like, no, you fucking wouldn't have because I told you five times. I literally told you five times to wear a mask and that all these other customers had to wear a mask when they came in and you literally still didn't do it. So what do you mean you would have done it? Cause you wouldn't, cause I told you to. And, but I didn't say that obviously. And he's like, so maybe you should apologize. And I was like, I'm sorry. And then he's like, yeah, thank you. Now, do you want to take my order? 
And then my manager's like, yeah, like she can take it as soon as I'm done with the computer and she can put it in. And he's like, thank you. And then he ended up tipping, which was surprising and everything like that. It was just like, give me a break. Give me a break. I understand wearing a mask sucks. I understand that to you it doesn't make sense why you have to wear a mask for 10 seconds to walk to your table. And I empathize with people who don't want to do that, but at the same time, that's just, that's just what life is right now. And if you don't like it, you can go to another restaurant because I know there are restaurants who don't do that right now. So the third story is going to be about, um, it's very recent. I actually have video evidence of this because when it happened, I literally went to the cameras at work, took a video of it just to prove I wasn't crazy. I'm not going to show you though because you might be able to identify who the man is. I think you can see the menus of where I work. Like I, I just don't want to do it, but let me just put it out there. I have video evidence. Okay. At this time, we were not doing any dine-in, only tables outside and takeout. And this guy comes in, it's like 10 minutes before we're about to close during lunchtime. And he's like, um, can I get a, can I get a table inside? I'm like, sorry, we're not open for inside, um, but you can do takeout. And he's like, okay, well, can I sit at the table outside? And I'm like, unfortunately, that one technically has a reservation um, coming in, so I can't let you sit there, but I can do a takeout order for you. And he's like, well, how long is takeout gonna be? I'm like, five minutes, like, we're not busy, like, they're not, the reservation's not here yet. And he's like, um, okay, well, give me the menu. And I'll go, and this guy was like big, like roid rage guy, okay? And he's like, give me the menu, and I'm gonna go sit down at the table and look at the menu. And I kind of hesitated for a second, because I was like, in my head, I'm like, um, I just told you that the reservation's gonna be here soon, so I don't know why. He's like, I'm not gonna eat at the, and he likes, he's like, I'm not gonna eat at the table. Um, I just want the menu to go look at it over there, and then I'll come in and order. And I was like, okay. I pick up the menu, I hand it to him, I hand it to him as such. He takes it out of my hand, throws it back on the table in front of me and goes, are you seriously gonna throw the, men throw the menu at me like that? I was like, what? I was like thinking in my head, I'm like, I don't even know what to say to this man. Cause I didn't throw the menu at him. I literally just handed it to him and I have video evidence of it, okay? So video evidence and he starts getting so mad at me. And he's like, that's how you're gonna treat a customer? Really? You guys need to learn how to treat people here. And like, he's standing right by the door. And he opens the door and like walks out and then continues to yell at me while he's halfway out the door, walks back in and says, are you fucking stupid? Are you fucking crazy? This is how you treat customers, blah, blah, blah. You're gonna throw the menu at me like this? Walks out, this is fucking bullshit. I literally didn't say anything the entire time. I was silent because I was like, I don't know how to like say sorry because that admits that I threw the menu at him, which I did not do. And I'm also not going to tell him I didn't throw the menu at you. I'm just like silent because I was literally scared. This man's hands were in fists. Like I literally thought he was going to punch me. I'm not kidding. So I just didn't say I was silent, just stood there and stared at him. And obviously that made him more mad, but I think he would have made him even more mad if I did try to defend myself. And then the people who were working at the bar heard and were like, sorry, sir. And then he gets more mad. And he's like, you're sorry? You're fucking sorry? F this, F that, F you, F, F word, F, 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 F. This is ridiculous. And then the guy was like, yeah, we're sorry. And he's like, fuck you. And then he opens up the door finally after like two minutes of this and he tried to slam the door on his way out but like our door just can't slam. It's so heavy and it closes really slowly and it looked like it made him 10 times more mad when the door didn't close but then he ended up leaving. And then at the time actually Matt was eating at my restaurant outside at the other table that we had and I walked out and I was like, did you see that? Like that was literally insane. And he was like, yeah, I was about to step in and be like, guy you gotta leave and matt saw the car that the guy walked in, walked like went into his car that guy stayed in his car for like two minutes and then drove off and i was like i was scared this man was gonna come and like hunt me down and like stab me like i'm not kidding that was really really scary and then the last story that i want to put in here is 
one of those situations where you're just like, I can't, I can't confidently say that the customer is always right. I just can't, I just can't do it because this lady places an order online and then um, so you guys know sushi restaurants you have like cut rolls or you have hand rolls cut rolls are like eight pieces hand rolls are like the little like cones wrapped in like seaweed and she meant to order all cut rolls but she ordered hand rolls online and at that point like if the way that the customer puts in the order is the way that we make it but it was the customer's fault that they made a mistake we're not remaking it for free because at that point it's like it's a customer's fault like it's kind of just like do it different next time but anyways this lady was like she gets her order and she calls and she's like you guys are so incompetent can't do anything right um i meant to order this and you guys gave me this and i was like you know like actually like you did i was like i'm so sorry but like the way we made it is correct like you you did order hand rolls you didn't order cut rolls and she's like well i order there all the time shouldn't you know that i meant cut rolls and i'm like first of all i've never seen your name before second of all no um if, uh, if someone that comes all the time every single week decides to order something different i can't call them and be like are you sure you wanted this this like it just that doesn't happen the way you order it is the way you get it and i can empathize with you and be like i'm so sorry that that happened next time maybe call and make sure with us but you know we can't be calling every single order and be like is this what you wanted this has happened three other times that i can think of too where people made the mistake like that i'm not sure how she made the mistake if she orders it like that all the time like if you use our online ordering system all the time i would assume that you know the difference between each like cut roll hand roll whatever that we have but apparently she did not and i i felt bad i felt bad that she got something that she didn't want but at the same time like it wasn't our fault and like what are you doing screaming at us and she was like well this is ridiculous like um you guys should know me blah 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 i'm like i'm so sorry we have to make it as we get it and she's like so basically what you're saying is you can't do anything for me and i'm like yeah like i'm sorry i'm sorry like i don't i don't know and she's like wow that's ridiculous i will never be ordering here ever again and i'm like okay and then i saw she wrote like a bad yelp review and that was that and um never seen her order yet but that has happened far too many times like there's been times before where it's happened too and we actually we, one time we remade it for this guy because he was so scary like another roid rage type of guy so mad that we were kind of just like scared it was me and two other girls working no other guys so we were just scared so we had them remake it for him but usually we wouldn't do that that guy was just lucky that he was very scary but yeah that's all for this video those are all the serving horror stories that i have i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in my next video